All right, tubes. I got the uh, got the door off, the other door here, and so uh, as you can see, it's about to get real. I uh, I got my truck back up to this thing, uh, and uh, I was just looking at it, and it, it's pretty much the whole way down. It's it's off. This is supposed to curve out around to here and come down to about here, and then the rest of it's supposed to go straight down. So first, I got the chain hooked up around the top here. Uh, probably be better if I had it higher, but it's all right where it's at. Uh, and I'm going to try and yank on it a little bit and get the top part out, and then uh, you know we'll move on to the bottom. All right, tubes. That actually worked uh, surprisingly well. Worked better than I than I thought it would. And uh, so this is actually, if you look down the line here, that 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 is supposed to pretty much just you're not really supposed to see it. It's not supposed to be on the inside. It's not supposed to be sticking out at all. So that's actually not too bad right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the chain. Uh, since I, since that came out pretty good there, and and the whole idea is that from here down the straight. I'm going to move the chain all the way down to the bottom now, and we're going to see if we can pull that out. But that uh, that worked exceedingly well. All right, so I got the chain wrapped around the bottom here now. I'm going to yank on that. And what I did was to avoid collateral damage and having the chains pulling on the, uh, you know, because this part right here is real thin. So having it pulling on that and bending that in, uh, and then me having to bend that back out. Uh, I put this piece of angle iron in, in here and so the chain's going around the piece of angle iron and that's going to spread the force out much more than, than it would without uh, and I just got to make sure I get that low enough here so now it's underneath and it's not going to damage the, uh, the seatbelt mechanism so it should be good to yank on that nail and hopefully not uh, do too much damage so let's get her done. Alrighty, so I'm, I'm looking at this thing, and I'm looking at the footage and going back and seeing what's going on here. And it's definitely moving, and so what really needs to happen now is this thing needs to get twisted around. And so the problem is that these hinges are riveted to the frame, so I don't want to just yank on the hinge itself too much. Uh, number one, because I don't want to pull the hinge off, and number two, because I don't know if that, that would totally solve my problem either. Uh, the, the, this part here is in more than where it's at over here. So what I've done is I've angled the car a little bit uh, in relation to my Ranger here. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. And hopefully that's gonna pull on the back a little bit more and, and pull that out. So let's, let's see what happens. Went ahead and hung a new door on here. This is the door I got in the junkyard. It's in pretty good shape other than that, that one dent right there. Uh, it's, actually, it's actually a really nice door. So I went ahead and hung it, and I was just looking at it here. It's actually looking really good along the top here. There, there's a bit of a gap here, but actually if you look at the other side, that gap is fine. As long as the, uh, the, the, inner, uh, you know, the inner gasket there is making contact, that, that's fine. That's actually the way it's supposed to be. And down along here, it's actually pretty good too. I have a little bit of a gap right there. Um, but down along here, it's actually really good. So right at the, where originally where I pulled on it the first time was right here. So from there up to about here, it's perfect. It, it could come out a little more here. So maybe maybe after I get done everything else, I might pull on that a little bit. But it's actually pretty good up there. And so the big problem now is still at the bottom here. It's got to come out almost probably four inches at, at the worst spot and uh, less down towards the bottom. But I, I, I'm going to yank on it some more. I think. I think I'm going to try and hook up a little higher, like maybe up around here, and uh, give it a couple couple strong pulls from there and, and see if I can get that a little closer. All right, so that gets us to the point now where uh, if I take this door and I push it like so, it actually closes. I remember before I said it was like about four inches. Well, now it's about, I don't know, an inch and a half. I can, about, it's about a finger and a half, and I didn't check before, but uh, it's definitely a lot closer than it was. And obviously the end goal would be to get this to the point where 
it actually somewhat seals so you don't hear you know that wind noise going down the road but that's kind of was my my goal for today was to get this door to where it closed and it actually you got to pull on it a little hard to open it but it actually shuts pretty nice uh thanks for watching and hopefully this was entertaining uh we'll see you in part two all right tubes